and welcome to my channel. I am Andrea and this is Beyond the Pink Door. So today's video is all about my favourite makes from 2021. So I went through my Instagram feed, I had a root in my wardrobe and I pulled out all the clothes that I made that I reached for so often since I've made them. And every time I've put them on I have, it, they have sparked joy, they have made me feel good, they've lifted my feelings and yeah I just I just I love them so I've got some garments I made for myself and I've got two that I made for Keris because I know that she loved them I know that I really enjoyed making them and I love to see her wearing them and she seems to go for them a lot well one of them in particular so I have a lot of very favorite patterns and I thought that I'd start off by telling you what I'm wearing and this is my absolute favourite sweater that I made in 2021 and I've worn it and worn it and worn it. Uh, I have it on today, I'm collecting carries from college later and um, as I was putting on my makeup I was thinking I've actually worn this quite a few times into collector from college so it's obviously one that I reach for when I sort of feel that I want to look tidy but not dressed up and it's my favourite. So it is a, a Billy sweatshirt and it's in this lovely See You At Six fabric. I love the fabric. I love the colour on myself and yeah I just feel I feel good in it. I just absolutely love it. Um, I've started making the Billy sweater for myself because I've got the fit that I really really like. So this is a size 3. I've lowered the front neckline and I have increased the back neckline so up a centimeter at the back and down a centimeter and a half two centimeters at the front i've used yeah see you at six french terry so it's the pattern version on the main body and i used the plain on the sleeves and i used the matching rib and there's just everything about this i just love absolutely everything i'm going to start because i have a few things on the mannequin um i've got this denim jacket for Keras. Now really I want to show you the pink version that I made and I will pop in a picture of it. There's just a flat lay I think that's all I have of it. <laughs> she has it in college, she has worn it to death and she absolutely loves it and she still has it in there today. So I've got the black version here so this is a new one that I've made. This is the Style Arc Stevie jacket. It's quite an oversized one she loves it. I've still got pins on the front of it because I haven't put in the buttons yet. I do actually plan to do them today because I have them ready to go. I just needed a dry day to go outside. So generally I go out onto my patio slabs. I bring one of my smaller cutting mats and that's where I do my hammering. I've tried inside the house but there's just too much bounce. So that'll be finished. Uh, it's a really nice jacket. I'll grab it. Uh, so I think I make her pretty much the smallest size. It's got pockets up here at the front, not as easy to see in the black pockets, and I've lined them in a lovely cotton. It's got welt pockets down here, and I really enjoyed making them. I've enjoyed that making this jacket so much because it's actually quite involved. There's lots in it between pockets, cuffs and everything, and I know that she is going to really like this jacket, so I'm hoping I'm going to finish it today. And maybe it's the one that she might bring to college next week and leave the pink one at home. So that is one and two. And I suppose while I have it on the mannequin, this is probably my absolute favourite make of last year. So this is a Broderie Anglais dress that I made for Keris. And I made it in conjunction with the Frugal Frocks Challenge that Ruan and Sam did last year. And actually I'm quite really looking forward to doing it again this year. So I'll link a card in up here about my review of this dress because I don't want to rabbit on about everything <laughs> or else this video will go on forever. So yeah I have a full review of this, how I made it, what pattern I used and all the details. Um, and I'll pop in a picture here of Keris wearing it. She wore it for her birthday this year or last year because she was 18 and she decided that it would be her 18th birthday dress. So yeah she loved it and she looked so cute on it and it was the one picture on my Instagram feed that got the most likes of course because she was in it and she looked cute. So that's the two I made for Keris. 
And then the next one is my fringe dress. Sorry about the scraping. I'll tilt the camera around. So I absolutely love the Chalk and Notch fringe dress, as you all know, and I've made loads of them. And I made two this year, and this was my absolute favourite. So I loved taking this out of the wardrobe. Absolutely loved it. I did a sew along, and again, I'll link in a card up here. I did a sew along because this version has the notched neckline, which I must say, I didn't like as much as the buttoned one, and now I think I like this more. It's funny how your favourites kind of go, isn't it? So this is a lovely Atelier Brunette uh, viscose fabric. It was an absolute dream to use, a dream to sew, and I love wearing it. I love wearing it with sandals. Um, I did think that possibly I might wear it with boots and tights in the winter, but you know what? I'm just not a boots and tights and dress person, I have figured. So I'm eventually kind of figuring out what I enjoy wearing. And yeah, loved, loved this. Loved the notch neckline of it. Uh, the belt cinches it in a little bit. And yeah, it's a chalk and notch fringe dress and always felt good putting it on. So usually I go for very bright colours, but I've realised lately that kind of dark backgrounds I think actually suit me. So I love this bottle green, absolutely love it. Love this navy it's a really dark blacky navy and i really like it love all the splashes of color and i'll pop in some pictures of me wearing it as well so i have a rail here of a few um garments on it so i'm going to grab yeah this one was really difficult because i had a favorite dress pattern last year and it's the nina lee spring dress so it's that free pattern that came in was it simply sewing magazine i think it was and i was really lucky to actually get a copy with the pattern in it so really happy i love nina lee patterns anyway so i always feel that when i make them i know they're going to fit i made two versions and i'm finding it really difficult to pick my favorite both are in lady mcelroy fab fabrics again i'll pop in some pictures so this one I think is my favourite. This is the other one. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's like picking between two children, my favourite between two children. Impossible. But I think I have decided that this one is my favourite. I yeah, I really love this. Really love this. Love this fabric. Actually love this fabric so much that I have just cut out another article in it and I'll tell you all about that in a minute. So yeah, the Nina Lee spring dress, which is not on the hanger properly. It's got the lovely little ruffle on the sleeve that I love, and it's got a little cinch in tie as well that I've tied around the top of the hanger. And yeah, I'll pop in pictures and you'll be able to see them better. So definitely my favourite. Um, I think I'm probably going to make a few of them for this summer as well. In fact, I have a few fabrics in mind already. And then, of course, one of my other all-time favourite patterns is, of course, the Nina Lee Southbank sweater. And the sweater dress particularly. Sweater dress, tights and boots, and I'm sorted. And I think, honestly, for the winter, if I'd only had tights, boots and Southbank sweater dresses, that's all I'd need in my wardrobe, really. Apart from Billy's sweatshirts and a pair of jeans. <laughs> yeah. And this one is my favourite and I was going to say my favourite at the moment, but I think it's my actual favourite of all time. So this is another Atelier brunette fabric. And you'll see a little, <laughs> there is, yeah, a little, um, I can't think of the word, that's really bad. A theme, there's a theme, another dark background. I love this one. I had the unfortunate incident of getting a mark on it one of the first times I wore it and it really bothered me <laughs> and I went to all sorts of efforts to get it out and eventually uh, one of the lovely ladies in my Zoom group, um, my Zoom social group, told me about a stain remover that she uses a lot. I ordered it on Amazon and it took it out and I think it was about the fifth attempt to take that stain out and honestly it's the best stuff ever. Um, it was a very noticeable stain around here 
and I think this washed, they got, this got washed maybe five times in between me, me wearing it the first time and getting the stain out and I can honestly say the colour did not run at all, it didn't go, it hasn't lost its lovely dark colour and this is another one that I keep reaching for in the wardrobe and I just instantly feel great in it so yeah my favourite summer set Not my favourite summer set, my favourite South Bank. Yeah. It's very annoying when the correct words go into my head and the wrong words come out of my mouth. So annoying. So again, I have another favourite as well, and it's a favourite fabric, and I made two garments out of it. And I just absolutely loved this. Um, and it's this lovely seashell fabric. It's a jersey fabric. And I made a Jennifer Lauren gable top. Now I wore this in the summer, even though it's quite high neckline, but I just think it f it really suits the fabric so well. And I just loved this. I made quite a few gable tops this year. I really like the construction of them. I love the fit of them. It took a couple of goes to get the fit right. So I'm now using a, a 10 at the shoulders, a 12 at the bust and a 14 at the hips and I'm shortening it a bit. I love the sleeves on it, they're nice and roomy, I don't feel kind of squeezed into the sleeves and yeah I just really really love this top and again jeans and I feel I feel really good, I think it looks really really nice. I didn't have the opportunity to wear it with shorts this year um, but I think it would look equally nice with like white linen trousers or shorts as well. So yeah, love that one. Love the fabric so much that I made myself a deer and doe Givre dress in it as well. And I came up with this idea of putting the red on the end of the sleeve and around the neck after seeing a ready-made, a ready-to-wear dress, very similar to it one day when I was out shopping. And I just think the red just gives it that little bit of it, like an, just an extra level. So this is a yeah really, really nice, lovely t-shirt dress for the summer. That and a pair of sandals, and I feel I feel quite tidy and nice. And yeah, it's really comfy. So I made Keras quite a few Givre dresses last year as well. And I can honestly say I did not think the pattern would suit me or work for me. I felt a little bit too lumpy to wear it. But um, you know, whatever it is about it, it just fits really nicely. So I think those two. I love particularly because I like the fabric in them. We're not nearly, nearly at the end. And here's one that I made recently and I've made two of them and this is my favourite and I've actually cut another one out and there probably will be more cut out. So this is, and I know if you've watched some of my recent videos I've spoken about this already so I won't go into too much detail. This is the Atelier Jupe Frida blouse and I love it. I just love every detail about it. Again, I'll pop in some pictures of it. Uh, I did think of wearing it today and I might I might do yet today as well. I love wearing it with uh, my Nina Lee Camden skirt and a cardigan or jeans and a cardigan. It just feels really, really nice. And it's in an Atelier Jupe fabric as well. I've made another one. Um, I think I talked about it maybe in my video before this and I made it in an Atelier Brunette fabric and I know that um, in one of my previous videos I talked all about the Melano shirt and the Deer and Doe Melano shirt which I love and I've realised you can get it out of very little fabric so I'm sure you're all familiar with that and I had leftovers of this fabric and I thought I would cut out uh, another Melano shirt but I realised I actually had two pieces of this leftover so I've actually cut out another Atelier Jupe blouse and I think it's going to be so cute for the summer. Just so, so pretty. I love all the details in it, like the yoke at the front and I love the collar of it because it's just so comfortable. I just love everything about it. So I cut out this one. So a few weeks ago I did a mass cutting out of Melilo shirts, came to that one, realised I had too much for a Melilo shirt cut out one of these and I think um, when I sew that I'll probably do it as a sew along because I know that a lot of people are loving the pattern but finding the instructions not terribly clear so I think I'll do a sew along for it. 
that's the that's the plan anyway because I have made a few adjustments not to the pattern but a few adjustments to the way I make it because I've made two now and um, I figured out just a few kind of easier ways of making it or a few kind of nicer ways of finishing it on the inside if that makes sense and then the last really love 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 this I'm saying love a lot <laughs> is my tamarack coat and again, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I've talked about this in some previous videos and I just don't want you to be too bored. So this is my Sherpa lined denim tamarack jacket and I will be wearing it today. I'll be wearing it with a scarf because it's actually a little bit cold today, especially if I actually decide to change into this. I'll definitely wear this. I've worn this so much. And as you know, I'm going to make another one in the jacket version because I just like it so much. Um, if you're thinking about a quilted jacket, I would highly suggest trying the Tamarack because it's definitely one of those that if you have the quilted fabric already, you'll whip it up so, so fast. And if you're anything like me, you'll end up wearing it to death. <laughs> so, so that is a roundup of all of my favourite makes of 2021. So I, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed watching it. I certainly had lots of fun picking all of these out of my wardrobe and going through them and thinking, yeah, I'm definitely going to make more of the Frida dress, definitely going to make more spring dresses and definitely make some more sheave dresses for this year. So yeah, thanks so much if you watched it all and um, I will see you all next week again. Bye for now.